Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me today. Well, today I want to do a interesting biography on a, a interesting man, of course, a theologian and a teacher. Uh, I call him Dr. Sam. I got most of his books, if not all of them. Uh, and I did some uh, book review videos about his some of his books. Uh, if I remember, I'll put them in the description. And you could uh, link on to him and uh, watch him. And uh, he's got some interesting books that I want to uh, refer you to. Uh, anyways, he uh, he was born on January 29th, 1938 in Rome in Italy. Uh, let's see. He was born a Seventh-day Adventist. And he's author or theologian best known for his work on the Sabbath in Christianity. Particularly in the historical work. The book that I, uh, the first uh, book, uh, it's the first book review I did of his book called From Sabbath to Sunday, and I encourage you to get that one. Based on his doctoral thesis from the Pontifical Gregorian University, uh, Dr. Sam defended the vitality of the Feast of the Eternal, situated in Leviticus uh, chapter 23. He wrote two books on the subject. He was also known within the Seventh-day Adventist Church for his opposition to rock, rock music and contemporary Christian music, plus jewelry, uh, the celebration of Christmas and Easter, uh, certain dress standards, and alcohol. Uh, he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in uh, theology from Newbold College in England, which was followed by a Master of Arts and Bachelor of Divinity at Andrews University in Michigan. In the United States, finishing in 1964. He moved with his wife Anna to uh, Ethiopia, where he lectured in Bible and history. In 1969, he they returned to Rome, where he studied at the Pontifical Gregorian Inst uh, University. He was the first non-Catholic to be admitted since the 16th century. He completed his doctoratus in uh, church history in 1974 on the subject of the decline of Sabbath ob observation in the early church based on his research in the Vatican libraries. Uh, he taught in the religion department of Andrews University from 1974 till his retirement in 2000. He taught theology and church history. He regularly uh, presented sem seminars worldwide and wrote many self-published books and articles on biblical topics. He was married to Anna Gandon and had three children. In uh, May of uh, 2007, Dr. Sam announced that he had developed liver and colon cancer. His uh, uh, ultimately succumbed to fourth stage liver cancer shortly after midnight, Saturday, December 20th, 2008, the day before his 47th wedding anniversary. He was with his wife and children. Uh, let's go back here. In 1977, Dr. Sam published uh, From Sabbath to Sunday in the Early Christian Church due to his uh, social, pagan, and political factors, and also, uh, uh, not his, Political, due to social, pagan, and political factors, and also the decline of standards for the day. The book made an impact on the wider academic uh, community outside Adventism, as, as well as within Adventism. Prior to his work, Seventh-day Adventists had focused on the role played by either the Pope or by Roman, the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great, or not so great, in a transition from Sabbath to Sunday, with Constantine's law declaring Sunday as a day of rest for those not involved in uh, farming farming work. Uh, subsequently, uh, to Dr. Sam's work, uh, have emphasized that the shift from Sabbath to Sunday was a more gradual process. He was also uh, been in influential in the worldwide Church of God, which is the seventh day. Uh, Church of God, Church of God Seventh Day, uh, and its uh, splinter groups, which supported Sabbath keeping until 1995. That's when the worldwide church apostatized and threw away all their former beliefs and 
jumped on the Protestant bandwagon. Okay, continue. And also other Sabbath keep, keeper, keeper groups. Uh, he supported the uh, conservative lifestyle habits of the Seventh-day Adventists, uh, such as uh, a vegetarian diet, abstinence from alcohol, coffee and tea, and avoidance of rock music and church worship services. In one newsletter, he submitted an hypothesis expanding upon the Seventh-day Adventists and the historical Protestants teaching that the anti-Messiah is the papacy to also include Islam, which he reported generated a lot of hate mail. Uh, anyways, also on a sad note, uh, his wife Anna, his wife Anna passed away in 2016. She uh, passed away from uh, carbon monoxide poisoning in her own home, her, her and her dog. Uh, she was found by her uh, son-in-law and uh, the daughter, Anna's daughter, found him there, called the police, and uh, later on the authorities uh, found out that she left the car on in a adjacent garage that was attached to the house. She left the car on by accident, or she's warming it up, something, and the fumes got in there, and she succumbed to it, unfortunately, and it's very sad. It really is a very sad thing. Um, but anyways, uh, rest in peace, and both of them. Uh, and anyways, uh, like I said uh, about the books, my the books that I, you know, he wrote quite a few books, but the ones that really stick out to me and I encourage you to get are uh, from Sabbath to Sunday. Uh, uh, another one's Immortality of the Soul or Resurrection, which uh, he did one called How Lindsay's Prophetic Jigsaw Puzzle. That's a good one, too. Uh, it's a littler book. It's not real thick. Um, and uh, also... He did two books, like Volume 1, Volume 2 of uh, the Feast Days, the Biblical Feast Days. The first one was uh, Spring Feasts, and the other were the Fall Festivals. Uh, and you can check them out. They were really pretty good books. Uh, and the, fall, the, the Feast Day books was the ones that uh, kind of sort of got him kind of in trouble with the Adventists because they don't follow the Biblical Feast Days, like the seventh, some of the, you know, most of the Seventh Day. Uh, Church of God, Seventh Day. Uh, they, they didn't. They. they uh, I've talked. I talked to. A, I had a friend that was a pastor of a Seventh Day Adventist church, and we kept in communication. And I told him about having a couple of his books, and him and his wife basically said, "You got to watch out for him." You know, he was good back then, but you know, they was kind of like iffy about about what he was uh, writing about, studying about, or things like that. But. Uh, but anyways, his, his books, it's, it's pretty good because he, he lay out the arguments on both sides. And then at the end, he usually gives, you know, reasons why he believes this, you know, he, and he, you know, has, you know, cite, cites biblical verses and chapters or historical cha uh, historical records. Uh, but it's it's very interesting. Uh, it's very interesting books. And uh, I encourage you to get those. And like I said before, I did some uh, book reviews, two of them, I think, two videos. Uh, if I remember, I'll link them down here below. Check them out. If not, just try to search search for them. And the first video was from Sabbath to Sunday, and the second one was just, I just put more books because I introduced some other books of his, and and um, I'm sure you can get you can get these books probably on uh, Amazon real cheap, eBay, or online bookstore. You get a used book pretty cheap. And he's got other books too, but uh, anyways, like I said before about about him and his wife, rest in peace, and and uh, thank you again because that's uh, for me. That's uh, when I first started studying the Bible and theology and stuff like that. I got my hands on some of his books and read them, and I learned a lot. I mean, I'm not saying I agree with everything he wrote about, but uh, it was just a starting point to get me to think and push forward and study study the scriptures and help me out along the way uh but anyways that's all i wanted to say and i uh, hope i didn't leave nothing out uh, i thank you guys again for joining me and please give me a big thumbs up hit that notification bell and subscribe and you're invited to comment below let me know what you think and also uh also just uh be cheerful and uh help each other out best you can have a generous heart and i look forward to uh, 
seeing you again in my next video. Till we meet again, brothers and sisters, peace out and shalom.